Yo, what's up, YouTube? All right, so we back with another video. Um, we're about to get back into the shifty ball handling drills part two. Um, today, I'll be giving you guys three drills that you guys can do to have shifty handles. Um, at first, what we first went over was, we first in the first video went over dribble postures. We did change the speeds. But as you guys know, change the speeds is very important. And dribble push is very important, but I also left out one key just for part two. All right. So what you have to get used to is your body being uncomfortable, which we talk about with the dribble postures. But basically you want to make sure that the same move you can do forward, you can do backwards. All right. Now, what I mean by that is if you're going forward like this, you need to be going backwards like this. All right. The reason why is because you want to give yourself different movements to get out of that comfort zone to make up different combos, all right? Anybody could go like this, but if you could mix it in with both, all right, then it'll make you feel like you're more shifty, all right? So, we got three drills we're gonna go over. I'm gonna go over the first one. Walk in depth, walk you guys through everything, and pretty much let's just get to it, all right? All right, so we're gonna get into the first drill. The first drill is forward reverse, all right? Now, the reason why we call this drill forward and reverse is because same move we'll be going forward is the same thing we'll be doing reverse. The reason why is because you want to make sure that your body knows the difference between walking forward and walking backwards. Um, a lot of players, some of them, they can't walk backwards to actually do a reset. And that's one thing you need in order to get shifty. Um, you need to make sure you have a reset. So once you stand up, the player stands up with you, all right? Because off the reset, right, when you come down and you stand up, they go off your body language and you come back down, to break them down, all right? So basically, this is what it'll look like in form. You'll come here, you'll reset, and you'll break it back down, all right? As you can see, simple moves that could just make a difference, all right? So we're gonna get into the forward and reverse drill right now. All right, so first thing first, you just wanna make sure that you start off with between the legs first, all right? So if you're going between the legs forward, you'll be going backwards between the legs, all right? The reason why is because if you could go forward like this, you can make a reverse move out of this to make yourself feel a little bit more different and basically look a little bit more difficult of a ball handler. The reason why is because you just want to make sure that your body is comfortable going backwards and leaning back forward. The reason why is because if your body could get the most uncomfortable, you'll become an even more shifty ball handler. Remember, being uncomfortable and making it comfortable is the way people are shifty today, all right? We all are at different heights. We're going forward. We're learning how to use our eyes to make a different demonstration for us. You know what I'm saying? We're looking around, we're going backwards, then forward. It's all different movements. So the forward and reverse drill is definitely something we'll get into. So let's start right now. All right. What you're going to do is you're going to start in the middle of the court. All right, you're going to go forward. All right. Now you're going to reverse. Now you can make it a little bit more difficult for yourself. You can incorporate both at the same time. Or you can make it difficult by doing different ones, different variations. All right. But you want to at least get a good three sets in. All right. This will be my third set. All right, so that's drill number one. We're gonna do three different variations, all right? So you wanna go between the legs. You also wanna make sure you get your crossover forward and backwards correctly. Same thing you'll do when you're doing forwards, you'll be doing backwards. I know this is pretty difficult, but as you can see, it's working on footwork as well. You can get your footwork backwards. You can make different moves. You can learn how to snatch back properly. You can do a lot of different things and different variations. As you can see, you can even do, like, as long as you're going forward and backwards, that's all that really matters. Same thing. Now, 
Now, I'm going to let you know right now, this drill gets very tiring and it works on your legs a lot. So be mindful. All right. So the first one, between the legs, crossovers. Now you want to do behind the backs. Those are like your top three go-tos. Between the leg, crossover, behind the back. Top three go-tos, all right? So now we're going to go behind the back. So this will be behind the back forward. This will be backwards. You can reverse it too, like this. Then going backwards first, then throwing it forward. All right? You got to do different things for your body to get used to it. So you can even do it like this. Make it three pounds, go backwards the same way. As long as you get your body accustomed to going backwards. Mistakes are going to happen, guys, on normal. So, yeah. Now, if you do lose the ball, you have to start back from where you were. So I'm on my second drill with this one. Second set, I mean. With this last set. And we're going to start from here. Same thing. Y'all can see I'm just putting different variations. Just kind of showing y'all. You can even mix the ones before if you want it to be a little bit more advanced. All right. So that's drill number one. Forward and reverse. All right. Let's get to drill number two. All right. Now drill number two will be change the speeds again. All right, you're always gonna work on your change of speeds. That's the best way to become shifty, knowing which speeds to use at certain times, knowing how to mix different speeds to make your moves look better at different situations, all right? So I'm about to show y'all a quick drill. It's not gonna be like the drill like last time. The drill we're gonna do is you're gonna be in a jog motion and you're gonna basically get yourself used to stopping and going, all right? The reason why, it's because a lot of players, they don't know how to actually come to a complete stop and then go. All right. And what I mean by that is coming to a complete stop and then go. OK, that's what we're going to work on. It's not necessarily change the speeds, I would say. I'll say you're basically working on your speed to get to that spot, stopping and then going. All right. And then put a combo in it. All right. So we're going to start in the middle of the court again. OK. Going to walk up. All right. So first moves we'll be doing is we'll be going slow. All right. It'll be your favorite move. You're going to go slow first. All right. Remember, slow is always first. Just showing you all a demonstration. So you're going to go fast. Do the move slow. All right. That's how we're going to do it. Fast, stop, slow. All right. Fast. You always want to go fast first. You want to act like you're on a fast break. So you always want to go fast first, hit the stop motion, and then go. All right? It's getting your body accustomed to knowing how to change speeds. As you can see, we just went fast, and now our body now slowed down, and we're going to throw another fast combo at the end. You know what I'm saying? It's giving yourself, giving your mind something <laughs> to not be used to, all right? So you're going to start at least from about here, and you're going to do it. So you're going to go slow. All right, then you're going to turn this way and do the same thing. You have 10, all right? So you got five fast, five medium, and five slow. So my fault, you got 15. All right, so let's get into it. Each move or each dribble is one. So go fast, slow, fast, slow, fast, slow, fast, slow, fast, slow. 
fast, slow. All right, next, now we got medium. Fast, medium. Fast, medium. Fast, medium. Fast, medium. Fast, medium. Fast, medium. All right, now you got fast, fast. All right, go fast, fast. This one's going to be pretty hard. Fast, 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 fast set. Fast, fast. Woo! And that's what I'll call change of speeds. This is different from the first drill we did. First drill we was doing, we'll change the speeds with the ball in our hand. Now we're using our feet. So the first drill we did in the first video was, of course, using our hands. We're just getting the adjustment of the body and the hands. This one is using our feet and the motion of our core and our whole body. Get to the last drill. Last drill and the hardest drill ever will be a one minute dribbling drill. Any move you want, can't lose the ball. And what you're doing is you're pretty much getting yourself accustomed to keeping the ball alive. All right? I see a lot of players, they have the move, right? They have a one-on-one, -on -one. they start to back up, they pick up the ball, and they kick it out to the next player. Now, it's a difference between over-dribbling and keeping the play alive, all right? Over-dribbling is when you dribble too much, you reset, and you start dribbling again. Keeping the play alive is different. Keeping the play alive is dribbling, looking around to checking your teammates, then making a move, and then going to the basket. Y'all get what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is the first player, he was just first looking to score. All right? That's what's called over dribbling. If you're looking to cook and score, that's over dribbling. We call that overkill. All right? Now, if you're a player that's looking to get your team open, using your eyes to get yourself open, that's what we call keeping the play alive. All right? There's a difference between dribbling in front of somebody, right? Doing all of this, and then trying to kill him. All right, that's what we call over killing, over dribbling. Okay, keeping the play alive is looking around, keeping the ball alive to now set you up to get to where you got to go. Okay, the reason why is the first player he's looking at the actual defender and trying to get a bucket. The second player is looking for his team first, making players bait, then knowing how to get to a spot. That's the two different players, okay? So now, I'm about to get into keeping the ball alive. All right, so we got a one minute drill. All right, you basically are gonna count in your head, or you can count out loud, or you could do based on the number of dribbles. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So you want to just keep counting that number in your head over and over and over, all right? Until you get to 60, of course, all right? 60 seconds, one minute. All right, so let's get into it. You want to just think of a varia variations of different moves you have wanted to learn or seen somebody do, and you just want to keep trying to get it, trying to get it, trying to get it and burn yourself out for one minute, all right? The main key is to not lose the ball. If you lose the ball, you get deducted 10 seconds. All right, so that means an additional 10 seconds is added. All right, let's get into it. Set, 
Go, pay attention. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 50, oh, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 39, 60. Looks easier on camera. When you actually do it and you start getting fatigued, you understand. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. We did three different drills to get shifty. Um, I hope you guys learned a lot. I'm just pretty much here to help. I appreciate all the love from the first video. I didn't think I was going to get that many views in life. Thank you guys so much, man. I appreciate all of you guys tuning, commenting, checking it out. And I'm about to record another video after this video to make sure that I get some type of consistency going for you guys to get better with the basketball. Thank you guys for supporting. Hope you guys like the video. Share with your friends. And yeah, let's all get shifty together. Have a great day. Keep chasing your dreams. And always remember, the only person who's stopping you is yourself. Peace out, guys.